Okay, good morning class. Okay, I'm coming back. So, uh, today we're going to continue our new lesson. Okay, it's all about the living things and the non-living things. Okay, so, who can give? What is living things? Okay, what is living things? Can you give me any examples of living things? Anybody from the class? How about non-living things? Okay, but before that, I will let you to read the psalm. New words. Okay, please listen carefully. I will read it and uh, follow after me. Okay, number one. Living things. Okay. Living things. Again. Living things. Good. Number two is non-living things. Okay. Non-living things. Next, number three. Human. Human. Okay. Number four. Breath. Breath. Next, excrete. Excrete. Next is stimuli. Stimuli. Next, I will reproduce. Okay. Reproduce. Number eight, gills. Again, gills. Number nine, stomata. Stomata. Okay. Number ten, grow. Grow. Okay, 11, germinate, germinate. Number 12, adult, adult. Okay, so these are the 12 new vocabulary words. Okay, so when we say living things, means have life. Example, okay, what are the examples of the living things? Example, animals, okay? Animals, human. What else? Organism, okay? Plants, okay? These are the examples of the living things, okay? So, living things means have, has life, okay? So, how about the non-living things, okay? It is non-living things, has no life, example. Building, houses, chair, table. Okay, that's it. We call examples of the non-living things. Okay, human. Okay, human means us. We are human, so we are living things. Okay, it's a uh, breath. Okay, we say breath. Okay, living things can breath. Okay, living things can breath. Okay, excrete. Okay, okay, as we call as living thing, excrete waste material. Example, when uh, uh, our, uh, our sweat, no? when we are playing outside, we are working hard, so excrete, excretion, some body fluid uh, comes out from our body. Okay, example, when we are urinating. Okay, next, stimuli. Okay, stimulus or stimuli means it's a response. Okay, reproduce. Okay, I think reproduce. Living things can reproduce. Animals can reproduce. Animals giving birth. Okay, human giving birth as well. Okay, while plants is uh, reproduced through seeds. Okay, gills. Okay, gills. Okay, species gills. It means it can bread underwater stomata grow okay what is grow okay living things can grow okay germinate seeds it germinates and adult okay so we are considered as an adult okay so these are the new words okay next so Let's continue about look at the picture. Okay, a picture. Look at this, the pictures. A dog and a toy. Okay, na? So, which one 
is the living things. Which uh, do you think is the living things? This is a toy dog or a dog? Okay, very good. A dog is a living thing because it moves. What? It can express. It can reproduce. Okay? And, and it excrete. While this non-living things, it doesn't move. It doesn't reproduce. Okay, nah? Okay, so this is living things. Okay, living things and non-living things. Okay, can you tell which of them is living thing and which is a non-living thing? How do you differentiate? Okay, I told already. Uh, what is the? Uh, how do they different? It's other about the non-living things and the living things. Okay, next picture, please. Okay, so look at your book. Okay. Look at your book. Okay, living things. These pictures are all about the living things. Living things are things that are alive. Okay, alive. Alive means it can move, grow, reproduce. Okay, it can excrete. Okay, alive. Animals, plants, and human living things yes you are a living things too yes i am too you are too a living things okay here are the some examples of the living things okay so how about the first picture is a coconut tree okay a coconut tree is a living things why why a coconut tree is a living thing. Okay, because it can grow. It might, is it correct? Okay. So, how about butterfly? A butterfly is an insect or an animal. It is called as also a living thing because it can fly. Means it can move it can move from one place to another place okay a bird okay the same thing a banana plant okay orchid plant cat baby frog fish dog man okay these are the living things again Coconut tree, okay, butterfly, bird, banana plant, okay, a woman, a baby, frog, cat, fish, cactus plant, dog, man are the examples of the non-living things. Okay, very good. Okay, next, after the living thing, so we move to the non-living things. Okay, what is non-living things? It is the opposite of living things. Means, are things that are not alive. Not alive means no life. It means, here are the some examples. It means no life, it doesn't grow, it doesn't reproduce. It doesn't move. It stays in one place. Example, dog. Again, a dog is a living thing or a non-living thing. Okay, very good. A dog is a non-living thing. Okay, computer. You heard the computer has a sound? Do you think it is a living thing? No, computer is a non-living thing because it is a man-made, made by human. So, computer is a non-living thing. Do you think it can grow? It can move? No, it doesn't. Next, orange juice. Okay, an orange juice is not a living thing. 
Okay. Chair. How about the chair? Hmm? What do you think a chair? Okay. A rubber band. Okay. A rubber band. Okay. A rubber band is a non living thing. Okay. Mobile phone. Okay. A mobile phone. Okay. A mobile phone. Okay. Is a non living thing as well. Bread. Umbrella. Color pencils. Cooking pan and a car. Okay, these are man made. Means it is a non living thing. Do you understand? Okay, next, thank you. Do you understand the difference between the living things and the non living things? Okay, good. So, Okay, look at this. We have, I have a table, okay? So, characteristic of living things and the non-living things. What are their characteristics? Okay, so, our living things and non-living things are the same. Your teacher will bring you to your school garden, okay? Or your mother will bring to you to your school garden. What are you going to do, what are you going to, do is to observe around in your garden what can you see will you see some living things will you see some non-living things okay okay and write down all the living things that might you see in your garden and write down all the non-living things that can you see around in your garden example Okay, number one. Okay, example number one. Okay, living things. What are the living things that can you see in your garden? Number one is I see a butterfly. Okay, a butterfly. Okay, I see a butterfly. Example, uh, this is a living thing, right? Okay, examples. Okay, living things and the non living things example what are the examples of the living things that can you see will you see in your garden okay example frog okay okay frog is a living thing what else non little non living things are rocks okay there are some rocks in your garden what else I saw what else? What can you see? About another example of living things that can you see in your garden? Plants or flowers. Okay, plants are living things. Non-living things. Example. Hmm? What else? Examples of the non-living things that will you see in your garden? Aside from rocks. What else? Anybody? Okay, you can see the stick. Okay, I saw a stick there. Okay, so these are the some examples of living things and the non-living things that will you see in your garden. Okay, so you need to write, I need only five. Five, okay, five living things and Five non-living things. You just only write. No need to draw. Do you understand? Okay. So write it in your book. Okay. Okay. So okay. So next. Okay, so observe the characteristic of the living things. Okay, and non-living things, you have categorized, put a tick in the correct column in the table below. Okay, characteristic, number one. Okay, number one, need food and water. Okay, this is the characteristic, living things and non-living things. We're going to do is to tick, nah? Okay, number one is okay 
Need food and water. What do you think is the answer? Huh? Need food and water. Living things or non-living things? Okay. Answer is living things. Okay. Very good. How about breath? It can breath. Okay. What? Living things or none? Okay, very good. Living things. Okay, na? Next, you will answer by yourself, okay? Okay, grow. It can excrete, move, respond, stimuli, and reproduce. Okay, so you need to what you do is to tick which one. Either the living things or the non-living things. Do you understand? Okay, I give you only an example. Number one and number two is all living things because need food and water in order to grow in order to stay alive breath it can breath as well so it is living things so number three grow okay answer one two three four five you need to tick the correct answer do you understand okay so Okay, now nah, that is your assignment. Okay, so living things need food to survive. Okay, when you say living things need food to survive. So food give living things energy to do their daily activities. Okay, it means that food gives living things energy to do their daily activities. Okay, so why? Children drink milk, children must drink milk, must to take uh, rest, uh, going to bed early, okay, because they need this in order to grow. Okay, so we eat plants and animals as our food. So we eat plants and animals as our food. So, some animals like zebras and cows eat plants as food. Okay, na? So, no? So, zebras, cows eat plants as their food. And then, we eat plants also and we eat other animals. You understand? Okay, so it means living things need food as well to survive. Human. Okay, we need water, okay, in order to survive. Okay, do you understand? Okay, next, the last one. Okay, so we have to finish this, okay. So, living things need not only food, but also water. Okay, nah? living things not, not need only food, but need also water. Water helps the body to function well. Okay, means we need to drink eight glasses of water a day because water, it helps our body to regulate our body well. Okay, we need to drink a lot of water. Okay, so we need to drink at least eight glasses of water every day. Most animals drink from a direct source of water. Some get their water supply from the food they eat. Okay, na? Some animals, no? Some wild animals use to drink water from the creek, lakes, ponds, or river. Okay, and some other animals get their water from the food they eat. Example, this caterpillar, okay, it doesn't drink water. It get their water from the leaves, from the fruits <coughs> they eat. <coughs> okay, you understand? Okay, next. <coughs> okay. Okay, aside from that, okay, living things need air to breathe. Okay, number one, living things need uh, food 
to survive water and air to breathe without air we will die all the living things will die so we breathe through our nose can we breathe through our ear to our eyes no we can breathe through our nose or our mouth okay so some animals also breathe through their nose like horse dog next okay so dogs horse some animals as fish breathe through their gills what is gills ah. why fish can breathe underwater because it has gills it's used to them to breathe okay under water plants breathe through the tiny pores on their leaves the tiny pores called stomata okay na we cannot see the stomata with our naked eye so we need to use a magnif uh, sorry, microscope to see the stomata of a leaf na? as we cannot see now without by our eyes because it's so tiny so we need to use a microscopic in order to see the pore of the leaf or the stomata okay this is uh, the example of stomata is just like a bean right okay so stomata of the leaves okay the leaves is bred through the pores we call it as stomata okay so now living things do not breathe no? living things do not breathe like need don't need anything and you understand okay next okay so look at again this picture okay we need to uh, <clears throat> okay we need to see this the difference between um, this picture living things grow okay we can grow okay from the baby from the child into an adult okay living things as they grow they become bigger and heavier bigger and heavier so from this baby boy going to the child and going to an adult so baby grows into a child then a child grows into an adult this is the stages of the human huh? okay so the same with animals the same with the plants they have from start from the small to bigger and to an adult you understand you understand okay so so your homework i think uh i have your homework okay from your notebook okay now get your notebook write down at least five living things and five non-living things okay now Nah, you must write it in your notebook what are the five living things you know and the five non-living things you know you need to write no need to draw you understand okay so this is for now and see you next week okay goodbye